Um, so nice to meet you. Thanks for joining me today. And also thank you for listening in English. My name is Matthew Piper and I'm with Portland State University. Portland State University is in Portland, Oregon. We're on the west coast of the United States. Portland is the biggest city in the state of Oregon. Uh, we are between the mountains and the ocean, so it's a very physically beautiful place. Uh, the people are super nice here. Um, it's also, a lot of Chinese students might know Portland as the home of the NBA Portland Trailblazers, um, or maybe the home of Nike. But it's also home to many really nice people, great food, uh, great food culture, and uh, great film and art and music and design. So it's a really great place for young people. And in fact, Portland was ranked um, one of the top five best college locations in the United States. Could I get the next slide, please, Cody? So Portland State University is a big school. We're a big public research university. We have about 26,000 students from all around the world. Um, we have international students from about 90 different countries. I think we have about three to 400 Chinese students. Um, but yeah, we have students from all 50 states and 90 different countries. I think we have 1,500 international students. So it's an extremely go global space. I, I think the international students can feel quite at home there. And we have um, undergraduate degrees, we have master degrees, we have PhDs, um, and we offer almost any program that you could possibly want to study. Could I get the next slide, please, Cody? Thank you. So one thing that is different for Portland State University compared to some other schools in the US, we are a downtown campus. We are in the middle of a major city in the United States. So we have of downtown Portland. So we are connected to the city. We are minutes away from everything, restaurants, food trucks, cafes, um, uh, parks, live music venues, movie theaters, everything. Um, but it's also a very pretty campus. We have a beautiful park running through the campus called the Parks Block. So it feels very green, even though it's in the middle of the campus. We have a great student life on campus. We have 10 residence halls. We have 200, more than 200 um, clubs and organizations for students. And we're a division one school, which is the top level of athletics in the United States. Okay, Cody. Part of being connected so deeply to Portland um, means more job opportunities for our graduates. As I mentioned earlier, Portland is the home of Nike. It's also the home of Intel. It's the home of Daimler Trucks. We have Columbia Sportswear. We have, um, and we have um, also Adidas North America headquarters. So there are a lot of opportunities in Portland. The economy is really good in this region and we're quite close to Seattle. So a lot of our graduates go on to get jobs with Seattle companies like Microsoft or Boeing or Amazon. And the average salary for a Portland State graduate is $50,000 after their, after graduating from PSU. Okay, Cody, next slide, please. We have a lot of cultural and resource centers to help students out once they are on campus. Um, I just want to point out the first one on our list, which is the International Student Life Team. We take care of our international students. We've been hosting international students for decades and decades. Um, we have a large, a vibrant community, and we have an amazing international student life team that takes care of you once you arrive in Portland all the way until you graduate and beyond. So we have airport pickup from the moment you arrive in Portland. We have international student orientation. We have um, workshops, we have fun activities, we have cultural activities, we celebrate holidays together. Um, we have advisors that can help you with academics, that can help you with immigration questions. So really, um, we're always there for you as an international student. Okay, Cody. So yeah, let's talk about our, our academic program. So we have, again, almost any, any program that you could possibly want to study. 
There are too many to list, but I will just highlight a few. We're, we have a very well-known school of business, so you can study concentrations like accounting, marketing, finance, supply and logistics management, human resources. We also have a really wonderful college of engineering and computer science. So if you're interested in engineering, you can study electrical, mechanical, civil, environmental, computer, or you could study computer science. Um, and a uh, few other, and one more program I'll point out is our graphic design program. We have one of the best graphic design programs in the entire United States, and Portland is a design city. So if you like graphic design, then um, please contact me and think about applying to Portland State University. Okay. When you apply, you have a choice of two curriculums. Most, stu most students choose the one called University Studies. So some highlights of University Studies is that every year, along with your regular classes, you're taking one thematic interdisciplinary class where you're working with students from other majors to solve a real world problem in the community and in the world. You have a lot of choices. You can choose what you're interested in. But the point of this class is that um, you are working in an interdisciplinary team and you're connecting with the community and working on something that can really make a difference. Uh, the other thing I'll mention is that every student who graduates from Portland State University is required to do an internship or a community project. Some students also choose Honors College. So if you apply to our Honors College, um, you have more research opportunities, you have um, special advising, you have priority registration, you have a chance for a different scholarship, a new scholarship. And it's really meant for students who um, are looking to go on to graduate school in the future. So if you're an excellent student with a 3.5 GPA or higher, you can apply to the Honors College. Okay, Cody, next slide, please. So how do you apply to Portland State University? It's very simple. There is no mystery. We are only looking at your high school grades. That's all. We do not require SAT. We do not require ACT. So we're, if you're a good student in high school, you will probably be admitted. Um, in, for English proficiency, we accept TOEFL, IELTS, DET, that's Duolingo English Test, and PTE. And you can see the scores listed here. Um, also, if you are taking uh, the IB curriculum or British curriculum, that means A levels or AS levels, or if you're doing AP subject tests, those are all a great way to earn credit even before you, before you start attending Portland State University. Okay, Cody, next slide, please. So if your English is not great yet um, and it still needs a little bit of improvement, that's okay. You can apply to Portland State University. We could admit you if you're a good student in high school and we will place you in our pathway program. That means that you can start studying English and also taking PSU classes at the same time. Um, and it's a really great option to get used to American classroom culture and improve your English. Okay, Cody. We do have scholarships for international students. The, the most common one we have is the International Achievement Scholarship, which is worth 4,500 per year. Actually for fall 2021, which is I think most of you maybe, that number is increasing to $10,000 per year. Okay, Cody, next slide please. So this is the timeline, general timeline of admission. However, one nice thing about PSU is that we are on rolling admissions. That means you can apply all year round. There are no special deadlines to remember. Okay. So this is our contact information. I'm also going to put in the chat box um, my contact information and my WeChat. So feel free to um, give me a uh, text or, or um, an email and I'm really happy to continue the conversation. Um, and I think that's about it. So any questions from the audience? Oh, I'm sorry, Cody, I didn't mention the virtual campus tour. So if you want a sense of 
if you want a sense of um, what the school looks like, what the city looks like, please do check out our virtual campus tour on our website. Right. Um, so thank you very much, Matt, for the uh, for sharing the inter information about Portland State University. So from the chat box, we got a few questions here. So number the first question here is like, do we? I mean, for just for applicate uh, for applicants, do they need to pay extra money for your pathway program? No, absolutely not. The, um, there's no separate application for the pathway program when you apply. If you are admitted and you don't have the English proficiency, we automatically place you in that. Also, the pathway program is more affordable than regular tuition. So it's actually less money every year for the pathway program. Okay. Um, and the second question is about the course of the uh, universities. Uh, I mean, this um this one is well uh, it's very interesting about like is it i mean how about the course settings is that like a very intense one or like basically literally like people got like a ton of leisure in time to do their own research no i think that it's pretty intensive um think about it as you're going to school about 15 hours per week and you you have an additional uh, I'm sorry you have an additional 20 hours or more of your time where you're you need to do readings to study to write papers to do projects every week Fifteen,有十五个小时的课程，外加的话就是说你需要做可能是二十个小时的自我的研究时间。那么总共下来的话，一个星期的话，average于呃，你就需要就是说付出接近四十个小时的这个学习的课程，才能够让你那个达到最